This is one total lush bucket pumpkin soup here, guys. Spiked with miso with a little creamy finish and miso cheesy toast. You bet, guys. This is my ultimate miso pumpkin soup. So first up, let's deal with our pumpkin. Now, I love the flavor of roasted pumpkin in a pumpkin soup, so I like to do it that way. And plus, it means that we don't have to be peeling that pesky pumpkin either. So I've just got some baby butternut pumpkins here, and I just want to cut them in half. Scrape out those seeds. onto a tray lined with foil. Always with the foil. I hate to do the washing up. Now I want to roast my aromatics as well. I've got some garlic. And some red onion. Now the whole lot just gets drizzled with some oil and then sprinkle with some salt. Now the pumpkin's gonna need about 45 minutes to an hour in the oven, but come back after 30 minutes because you can take out the garlic and the red onion as soon as that starts to just get those charry edges. Okay, so my pumpkin is beautifully roasted. I've just let it sit for a little bit so it's cool enough for me to handle with my hands. And I just wanna scrape the pumpkin into my blender. Now don't forget about that beautiful roasted garlic and the onion. Just pop each of those sweet little nuggets out of their shell and the red onion. Now I like to get everything started here with some hot stock before I make my little final additions here. And it really depends on how much yield you've got out of your pumpkin as to how much stock you add. And also how thick you like it. I like mine fairly thick so I'm just going to add half of my stock first. Okay, that is looking so thick and luscious and creamy. Might just add a little bit more stock for my liking. And now some extra little special bits here. I've got some miso paste and this adds the most wonderful, savory, salty flavor. It really gives it a kick and if you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't be quite sure what it is. It's like a little good surprise. And then a good pinch of some finely chopped ginger. I love that little bit of heat and some of that comforting aroma that, that ginger brings to the whole thing. Now that is looking totally luxe, but don't go away, we're not done yet. We've still got to make our miso cheesy toast. So I've just got some nice sourdough bread here. I want some butter. And a little bit of extra miso here. Now just give that a mix. Now spread your bread with some of that beautiful salty butter. Honestly, spread this on a toasted cheese sandwich and it's a game changer. And now some cheese. I've got a beautiful Swiss here. Pop that under the grill till it's nice and bubbly. Now, our miso cheesy toasts are looking and smelling amazing. Oh, I'm such a sucker for cheese toast. And you'll want a very decent helping of that miso pumpkin soup. And now my little extra bits and pieces at the end here. I've got some coconut cream, which adds just a delightful little creaminess to the end here. Still keeps it dairy free for those that need it. Otherwise, sour cream or regular cream is good here too. And now just a little sprinkling of black sesame seeds. Then I've got a Japanese chili spice mix here called Tsuchimi Togarashi, which I'm gonna sprinkle on the top. 
And there you go guys, not just any old bowl of pumpkin soup, this is honestly like my ultimate pumpkin soup. There's no other pumpkin soup that can beat it in the world. Maybe, you guys tell me. Mm. I mean, that sweetness and that little bit of extra flavor you get from the roasted pumpkin, and the whole thing is so incredibly creamy and sweet. And then that little backdrop of miso really just brings out all the flavors and gives you a beautiful saltiness. Mm. And of course I need some cheesy bread as well. I am so much in heaven right now. Yum. Mm. Cheese toast, so good. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.